what I also thought about was the fact that estimates are 50,000 Ukrainians mm -hmm. will be dead or wounded, yeah. and that this is going to start a humanitarian crisis, a refugee crisis in Europe. We're talking yeah. about five million people yeah. that, that are going to be displaced. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's heartbreaking to hear what is going to happen. And here she goes, ladies and gentlemen, on the empathy scale from 0 to 10, she's a straight minus 10. Compassion for all the wrong reasons. What a joy. Well, I'm scared of what's going to happen in, in Western Europe, too. Yeah. You know, you just, you plan a trip, you want to go there, I want to go to Italy for four years. I haven't been able to make it because of of uh, the pandemic. And now this, you know, it's, yeah. it's like, who's going to, what's going to happen there? Yeah. While people all over the globe are holding their breath in suspense, folk in Italy have already been seen dancing in the streets, celebrating and living it up, knowing that for one more year they'll be safe of her presence. <laughs> 